Hi there, the following video will answer question 5 part I of the OCR Core 3 Maths January 2010 class paper. OK, it tells us we've got an equation of a curve that is y is equal to x squared plus 1, all of that to the power of a. It asks us to find an expression for dy by dx and hence show that the only stationary point on the curve is the point for which x is equal to 0. To find dy by dx, if you've got y is equal to x squared plus 1 to the a, it's asking you to differentiate this function with respect to x. It then tells you you've only got uh, you've got a stationary point. At stationary points, we know that dy by dx is equal to 0. Even more than that, it wants you to show that there's only one stationary point. OK, let's go ahead and work out what dy by dx is. Our original function is y is equal to x squared plus 1 all to the power of 8. And we want to work out dy by dx. Now before we do that, we might need to talk about something called the chain rule. There's a general and easy thing to remember with the chain rule. If you're trying to differentiate a function that's something like this, you've got a function, some function of x, and it's all raised to the power of n. If you want to differentiate that, if you want to find dy by dx, you can bring the power down, that's n, you differentiate the, fun the original function, so you mo and you multiply by this, and we write that as f dash x, and you reduce the power of the function by 1. So you would still have f of x all to the power of n minus 1. This is how you differentiate a function, f of x to the power of n. You take down the power, multiply by the differential of the function, and then uh, multiply by your function to one less power. This is the chain rule, an application of the chain rule. We've got very similar going on here. f of x, in this case, is simply equal to x squared plus 1, and our n is equal to 8. Let's differentiate it. You bring the power down, so you've got 8. You multiply by the differential of the function. The differential of x squared plus 1 is simply 2x. And then you have your original function, x squared plus 1, all raised to one less power, which is 7. And you tidy that up. 8 multiplied by 2x is simply 16x. And you have x squared plus 1 to the power of 7. That there is your gradient function. Now, it says, hence show that the only stationary point of the curve is where x is 0. For a stationary point, for stationary points, dy by dx is always equal to 0. So therefore, we've got this expression here, 16x, x squared plus 1 to the 7 is equal to 0. Let's just have a think about this. That would tell us that either, because these two things are multiplying together, either 16x is equal to 0, or x squared plus 1 to the power of 7 is equal to 0. Well, obviously here, we must get the solution x is equal to 0. Here, x squared is always a number bigger than or equal to 0, even if x is positive, even if it's negative, even if it's 0. So therefore, this whole expression is always bigger than or equal to 1, and so this whole thing here is always bigger than or equal to 1. Therefore, this can never equal 0, and there's no solutions for this. Therefore, the only solution is x equal to 0. Therefore, the only stationary point, the only stationary point is at x is equal to 0, as required. Thank you very much.